This is kind of a funny story. Here in just a little bit, you'll see a red crotch rocket motorcycle on the left. He had pulled up on the right side of me and um, just kind of, you know, gunning his engine and stuff. And sometimes something comes over me and I want to race. So I challenged him in a race. And I think it kind of threw him off in a couple ways because here I am, an old woman on a goat wing. And I took off from him and he had to downshift to catch me, which I should have downshifted to, but I was beating him for a little bit, of course. He's, you know, there's no way I can outrun him, but people are usually shocked by how fast these gold wings will go and how powerful they are, especially the younger generation, because they just think of them as an old man's motorcycle. But they do have a lot of horsepower, and it was really fun. I had him for a little bit, but then he got me, and then he had to turn. I sure wish I would have had my camera on through all that. 86 degrees, it's a hot one today. We are at Patsy Climbs gravesite in Virginia. fight and beg and plead for and they just kind of came to me so I'm really grateful for and I love her so much and, uh, yeah he passed away he was such a cool guy he gave me another little little first break <laughs> I mean, without him I would have never met Tommy Neal who kind of got me started doing gym and you know I've made a decent living my whole life singing that's and great. She so, says she wrote a book too. Yeah, I've got a what? book coming out. It's called Song Peddler. Okay. Song and we're gonna sell. I'm gonna sell it at Dollywood next year. And it's got this story in it of how I prayed. And then I became a medium. What are the chances? I wouldn't have. I couldn't have. I just knew. I, I was like hoping she was listening to me, right? Right, right? But I didn't know. And then years later, to become a professional medium, it's like. But it kind of. My whole life started right here on this spot. You know, over at the Hadley Library, they have um, they have her handwritten letters she wrote to her mother, and you can go in and ask them, and they'll let you sit and read them. And then I was born in September that same year, but it just—you never know what kind of an impact you're having on the soul. Mm -hmm. And there's—and I know for a fact, people who pass away are not gone. They're. If they were, I couldn't How channel could you, them. Yeah, exactly. And I don't. Know what that. is your name? Can we look? Re at yeah, Rita Dollinger. Rita Dollinger. R H E D A. And then um, you can look psychic Rita, spelled R H E D A, on TikTok, and you can see it. Okay. So my name is Rita Dollinger, and I'm a singer songwriter from Nashville, Tennessee. I was born in Manassas, Virginia, and grew up in Southwest Virginia. But in um, about 1980, somewhere between 84 and 85, I went to Nashville. And the last stop that I made in Virginia before I went to Nashville was here at Patsy Klein's grave. And I sat down on the grave and I prayed and I asked her to help me find some kind of help in Nashville to be a singer. And so when I got to Nashville, I went straight to Tootsie's Orchid Lounge and her husband, Charlie Dick, was the third person I met. And he put me in charge, in contact with a guy named Tommy Hill who gave me my first job in publishing in Nashville. And so that's been 42 years ago. Interim of all those years, I worked with Jeannie C. Riley. I've played the Opry. I've done all kinds of music my whole life. I'm singing at Dollywood this year at the Dreammore Resort. Wow. And um, what's cool about it is um, it's kind of come full circle for me. And I have a book coming out called Song Peddler. So this story of how I channeled Patsy before I knew I was a medium, even. And I feel like she's been guiding me my whole life. So I brought flowers to those passing. Oh, that's great. And um, do you want to tell, do you have a Facebook or you said, do you have TikTok? It's, yeah, I'm TikTok. It's called Psychic Rita, spelled R-H-E-D-A, at TikTok. Okay. And then my name is Rita Dolinger. Dolinger. -E Rita Dolinger. Yeah, with okay. one L. And, okay. Um, thank you. So thank sweet. you so much. That's such an interesting story.
Anandoa Memorial Park. That's where Patsy Klein and her husband are buried. This entrance way is dedicated in remembrance of Patsy Klein, one of America's best beloved singers by her husband Charles, Charlie, Charles Dick, her children Julie and Randy and her family, 1963. We found Patsy Klein's house where she grew up. She was born on September 8, 1932. I was born on September 7th, but not 32. <laughs> this is her house. This is the place where Patsy Klein was singing when she met Charlie Dick. The Rainbow Road Club. The movie Sweet Dreams was filmed here.